JG has looks like a dermatofibroma. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a punch biopsy. A punch biopsy. Punch biopsy excision. All right. All right, Gigi, you are you ready? A little bit about punch biopsy because you don't know people. You punch, they might think, you know, you oh. punch it. Yeah, we don't. No, we don't want that. Yeah. Uh, okay, I can show you if you want to yes. see it. Yes. Well, when I just, you know, I'll, I'll explain as we do it. All right, so it's one of these things. Obviously, Jenny's going to get her way. Uh, so a punch biopsy is a small tool that we use, or a biopsy punch. It's a small tool that we use to uh, remove a portion of a lesion and send it to pathology generally to, to have it uh, sectioned and examined under a microscope for a specific diagnosis. But we're going to actually use it as an excision tool. All right. right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, you're not even close. <laughs> Let me have the cold spray. <laughs> That's what happened when you try to do it in one hand and I know. Far right. away. That's why I'm going to do it for you. Okay. Poor Gigi. Here we go. Cold oh, spray right there, good. right area. Okay. Stick, sting, and a burn. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Right ready. Here we go. A little stick. Sting. And a burn. Mm -hmm. And a burn. Mm -hmm. You'll notice his gloves match his outfit today. Actually, they, they clash a little bit, Jim. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. There we are. Thank you very thank you, much. Sir. Thank you, thank you. How was that? That wasn't that bad, was it? No, sir. Painless. You gonna let me get the punch biopsy? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. I'll go ahead and open it myself. Please. Oh, I just see make me video. She's so mean to me. And and anybody open it in advance and it's the wrong one, he's gonna six, take it out of my six millimeter punch. Six millimeter. You feel any pain? No, sir. Good. Wow. So we just kind of give it a little twist like that, Jenny. Yes, sir. Just a little twist. This is an easy procedure. Uh, really, anybody who has an office-based practice can do these. This is not something that you have to send your patient to uh, see a dermatologist for or anything like that. It's just not necessary. It's too small. All right, forceps. Now I'm going to grasp the lesion, Jenny, right there, see? Yes. And then just make a little snip. And it's gone. Right. Okay. Did you want that in a jar or something for later? <laughs> no, she's not even going to answer me. All right. And so this is what you're left with. And so the lesion's completely been removed. And all we have to do is put a stitch in there. All so. right. Pretty quick, right? Very quick. Very quick. Very quick. No okay. pain. No pain. Wow. That's right. No pain. Mm -hmm. We hadn't done a video in a little while, huh, Jenny? Right. Oh, we've been busy. It's not like we hadn't had any procedures. We've just been busy, huh? We've been busy. All right there. So this, just one stitch is all it's going to need. One stitch. One little stitch. Uh, Gigi, this stitch needs to stay in for just five days, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, you can remove it yourself with some nail clippers if you like, or if you want us to, you can come back in and we'll remove it. Whatever you want to do is fine. After that, just keep it covered for a few more days. And then, after it's healed, uh, you'll want to rub vitamin E and a little sunblock on it every day for about a year. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. You got to be careful when you make this right here, though. Right. Because it, with thin skin, that can actually tear through if you're not careful. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, we just lay it out like that. So we, we approximated the sides of the punch right there, yes. and that'll lay out and it'll heal great. All right, Gigi. Perfect. Stitches come out in five days, or stitch. Yeah, it's one stitch. It'll feel like two, but <laughs> it's one. Thanks for letting us uh, record your procedure. Any, question, any questions? No, sir. You got it then. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you. Hey folks. Are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. I can think better and um, all around it's helped me out. Do you feel shaky, jittery or anything like no, that? No, not at all. Fantastic.
it made me feel much better physically and uh, actually mentally. Ever since I started taking it, I have energy throughout the day. I have no problem making it through my runs. Energy all night, I'm in a good mood. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.